This is the best new offense to use in Madden 24. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> That's just too easy! It has explosive run plays. I'm gonna go, go, go. There's no stopping me. I'm riding through the sky. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. And multiple one play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Drop ball. So if you want to see what brand new offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The place for today's video can be found in a brand new offense as I'm making a switch to my latest ebook, the San Francisco 49ers, while still using the Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebook. If you guys want more help, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pin comment. And we'll be using a brand new team as well as I'm tired of getting comments about simply using my favorite team in the Philadelphia Eagles, and I've said in my previous gameplays that I wanted to use the Atlanta Falcons since the game came out, mostly because I just wanted to use B. John Robinson, and now that he's got jukebox and legs update, I couldn't resist Exist. They don't really have a good quarterback situation, but everything else on this offense is pretty loaded with cheat codes like a 6'6", 91 speed Kyle Pitts and Drake London, who's basically the exact same player. They have a lot of speed of receiver as well with Scotty Miller at a 95 speed and even their backup tight end John Smith has an 88 speed. In my first game with this team, I already have a pretty evenly matched game with a division rival in the New Orleans Saints. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And also let me know in the comment section who you think will win the big game tonight as I got the birds winning 23-27 on a late stop. I start this game out on offense and I will be debuting three different new offensive formations out of this playbook, starting with a new version of the I-Form Close, as this offense has several plays that the Broncos playbook didn't have. I've already put out full practice mode style breakdowns of all three of these offenses, so if you guys want to know more, I will have links in the description as well as on-screen pops at the end of the video, so stick around for that. For the I-Form Close, I use the same passing plays in the double outs, the PA, cross, go, the PA Titan League is my one play touchdown play, but I changed my inside run play to the Power O, which is one of the best run plays in the game, and the Broncos doesn't have it. I still use the halfback stretch as my fifth and active play, but I also like to use the spider mesh at times, and I will also show you the PA boot flow later in the video, as this scheme now has a total of eight plays that I like to use. For my substitutions, I'm still going to put my tight end at wide receiver and Kyle Pitts, and on the other side, I'm going to put my fastest receiver in Scotty Miller with his 95 speed. One of the best things about the I form is that it's a running back focused offense so as long as I can run the ball well I won't have to find out what kind of arm Desmond Ritter does or doesn't have as long as I can stay ahead of schedule. I can get pushed backwards on the first play that it was second and long and now I have to pass already on just the second play of the game. One of the things I noticed about bad quarterbacks is that their accuracy really struggles when pass leading and especially towards the sideline outside the numbers. I see he's in a cover three though so I have to switch to the double outs and on the first throw so far, so good, but I still don't trust this man. So on the next play, I go right back to running the ball. Since I couldn't seal the edge last time, I motion out the fullback this time, and it works much better, as this dude is an absolute Chico with jukebox. I'm gonna go, go, go. There's no stopping me. Before I go back to Kyle Pitts on the wide side on the next play, make a man miss, and score the first touchdown of the game. Do it! On defense, I'm once again going to be using my 3-4 odds scheme that I put on my last video, but I'm going to be mostly focusing on offense in today's gameplay. I already made a full breakdown about these defenses I'm going to be using in today's video as well, so if you guys want to see more, I once again have links in the description. As I get a huge sack on the very first play, before I blow up a screenplay to get to a quick third in a mile, that he picks up by hitting my cover 3 up the seam. I switch to cover 0 after that, but it feels so good to have Jesse Bates on my team instead of playing against him, as he makes the next two plays to get into a 4th and 4 that he decides to go for and converts once again. I switched to my big nickel over G scheme after that to get more speed on the field, link in the description once again, and we get sacks on the next two plays to push him back to fourth and a mile, and he finally decides to punt it away. But I keep my 95 speed Scotty Miller back there. Here we go! I stay in the iPhone close for another series as I want to keep pounding it with Bijan, and this guy is just as ridiculous as I thought he would be. Just 
as I run into the deep red zone, averaging over 10 yards a carry before finally getting to show you guys another new play from this offense in the power O, which really only works when the defensive end is split out wider than the left tackle, and there is a gap right here between the defensive end and the defensive tackle on defense. Making this play the perfect complement for the stretch run, as most people will start to spread their defense to try to contain the outside runs, which is exactly what my opponent is doing here, coming out in a dime zero blitz with boats blitzing cornerbacks. So when your opponent does this, just switch to the power O and flip the run play with the right stick, and it works like a trap play, kicking the edge outside for huge run lanes as we walk it into the end zone. On defense, my opponent turns into a panic passer as this game is getting away from him fast before I switch to my favorite coverage in the cover six trap, which clearly confuses him as he tries to take the check down instead. Gotcha, bitch! And I'm taking it the other way for what might have been a touchdown if I would have put safeties at linebacker. Oops. I want to show you some of these new plays on offense, and since I'm in the red zone, I switched to the spider mesh, which is really just a double drags concept, but I can also work the corner out and the fullback if my opponent is in zone. But it looks like he's in a man coverage, so I just hit pits on the drag before going right back to it, as nothing really stops these drag routes, making them perfect for critical situations, before I go right back to that power row to finish the drive once again. On defense, my opponent is on quit watch as I get him to a fourth and one quickly before he converts with a big play over the middle, before almost scoring on a simple drag a few plays later, and then scoring with the exact same play to stay in the game. <laughs> back on offense with only 10 seconds left before half, I decided to switch to a more pass-heavy offense in the single back tight way off. I recently made a full breakdown of this offense as well from the Broncos playbook, link in the description, before I decided to switch to the Niners playbook, which once again has a slightly better version, since it has a stretch run and the PA leak, which is a one-play touchdown against almost every defense in the game. In my audibles, I use that stretch run and the halfback zone weak as my inside and outside runs. I use the PA leak and the PA post dig as my one play touchdowns. But on the first play, it looks like he was in a cover three and I try to pass lead inside up the seam. Where you going? Before Desmond Ritter's accuracy was just horrible. And he just throws it right to the safety to end the half. He gets the ball in the second half as well and could easily get back in this game with a score. But that's why I got Jesse Bates on my side. Gotcha, bitch. Because this guy is easily one of the best safeties in the game. After seeing Ritter's accuracy or lack thereof, I was lucky to see a huge run lane right up the middle in the very next play. So I switched to the zone weak. I'm trapping at the speed of light. I wanna make a supersonic man out of you. And put some stick work on for another big carry. He comes out in that same defense again on the next play. <laughs> And this dude's hit stick in air right now. On the next play, he closes up those lanes, so I switch to the stretch run, as all you have to do is motion across the tight end, and it creates a wall of blockers to run around. Metal to the metal with a nasty hard cut to make two defenders miss, and Bijan almost has 100 yards already on just nine carries. And my opponent is just spamming spinner blitz at this point, as he has no answer to stop Bijan. <laughs> as he is just throwing defenders off him to get inside the five. From here, you can replace this slot receiver with another tight end, and when you motion him across to the other side, you'll have two tight ends blocking in the bunch formation, and this will give you an even bigger block advantage as Bijan gets his third touchdown of the game. My opponent refuses to go away though, as he gets a ridiculously huge return lane on the kickoff. Like, where the hell is my coverage unit? Relax, jeez, I gotta go take a win, get off my ass. Then I gotta make a phone call, then I'm coming back, alright? He also converts another two point conversion, and now he's only down 11 points. This game is getting a little too close for comfort though, so since he has been stuck on Man Zero Blitz autopilot, I decide to go back to the PA leak, which I previously showed that this fade route beats any man coverage in my latest Glitch Routes video. As all you have to do is put this slot receiver on a streak, and the fade route scores against just about every defense of the game except for cover three and cover four. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> Back on defense, we are sending straight heat as I almost made this video about the new blitz that I was running. Spoiler alert, that will be tomorrow's video. I start having some issues man aligning though in the next two plays, and this clown quick hikes me to get the first down before hurrying me up and doing it again, following the motion man across to see a wide open receiver for the touchdown. And fuck this guy! On offense, it looks like my opponent is switching to cover two zones, so I go back to the PA leak, but Ritter's horrible actually strikes again to get me to a third and ten. I try to hit another wide open receiver in the next play. Can I ask you a question? You got a moment? Yeah. Which team do you play for? And he throws it into the third row of the seats, but luckily he was offside, so I get to try again. And those last two throws were so bad that I decided to switch offenses entirely into the gun split close. My audible plays are the halfback wheel, which is really the only play I need to use when passing, as this is a one-play touchdown against every defense in the game in multiple ways. I also like the Niners halfback choice for short passing as it beats both man and zone. The Niners halfback rail for man coverage as every route here beats man. My run plays are also the halfback power over outside and the read option for inside. I choose the halfback wheel, but since I don't trust Ritter throwing outside, right now, I forced a 10-yard in route right in front of his user. That was a close one. 
When I come out on the next play, it looks like he's in a cover zero, maybe even a cover one man. So I switch to the Niners halfback rail. As all these routes beat man coverage, but the wheel route to the running back is one of the easiest one play touchdowns in the game, and it requires no adjustments. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> And even Desmond Raider can't mess that up. Back on defense, my opponent can't do anything as we get him to a quick third and ten before I go back to my favorite play, the cover six trap. Gotcha, bitch! And end the game with a huge pick six. I told you I almost made this video about defense. So if that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more about any of the offenses or defenses I was using in this gameplay, I'll try to have full breakdowns of all of them popping up on screen, or at the very least in the comment section. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.